Border crossing starting to crush the U.S. housing market. Hey everybody, Scott Walters, buckle up and strap in. I got a hard-hitting pull, no punches, no sugarcoating it, no rainbows or sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Buckle up and strap in. Hold on to your hats and glasses. We got an issue unfolding again, like we needed anything else. There's not many news uh, networks covering this one because it's too politically charged but we're going to boil it down into a nice tidy little package and as it all revolves around real estate why does it revolve around real estate you ask i'm about to tell you because everything hinges on the u.s housing market if we lose the u.s housing market we will in fact lose everything it's happened before it will happen again it now becomes the percentage of likelihood would the biggest artificially created housing bubble ever produced in world history pose any threat to the U.S. housing market? I would have to argue it absolutely 100% does. I knew that from the second this thing took off. Why do I know that, you ask? I'm about to tell you again, of course. Whew, insane, because I'm a licensed realtor in the euphoric Southern California market where it was head spinning. A episode of The Twilight Zone, a showdown at the OK corral working in real estate insane and then to watch it be normalized even as an agent like i own and operate real estate i work in real estate because i want to not because i have to I don't base my cost of living on commission checks which allows me to come here and run my mouth how i see fit and even warn people and let them know this is a housing bubble it won't be able to sustain itself there will be blowback and the dust will settle and my goodness is it doing it in spectacular fashion Thank you to everybody who participates with this channel. If you're new, subscribe. Subscribe right away. There's never been a more important time in history. You get forward thinking, centered and surrounded with like-minded people. And speaking of which, we're going to take a look at an email from one of you, one of our great, awesome subscribers. Jeff today is going to make the show with his email because he sent me something earlier about this area of America that's having a huge issue up against the U.S. Mexican border. Whew. First of all, flippers, speculators, i buyers, developers, builders alike all bought land wherever they could, and they bought it in some pretty not so great areas that they should have known not to buy it in. So even if <laughs> this is insane, because even if you own real estate in this area, you enjoyed appreciation in your real estate momentarily, but once the whole the whole crisis uh, stimulus era rug pull occurred, interest rate hikes. It's now, it's now the air is coming out of the balloon. We're letting the air out as slowly as possible. So even if we just monitor interest rate hikes, what it's going to do is absolutely cause a, either, it's going to cause a crash. Some areas are going to get hit much harder. So when we look at other contributing factors of areas that are going to contribute, and there's many, 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 like talked about them, spec homes, FOMO factories, you name it. But this one is the El Paso, Texas, Juarez, Mexico border crossing area is insane. 50,000 immigrants are crossing the border like it's the thing to do. Like you just swung the gate open and pouring them through. Juarez, Mexico, I've watched a few documentaries of that place. You don't want to be in Juarez, Mexico. The cartels there are massive. So how many people are filtering in to the border crossing at Juarez, El Paso, and bringing in potentially some unsavory types? My guess is at least a few. I told you it's going to be politically charged. Now I'm going to do my best to tap, tap dance around the subject because I don't even know how well received this video will be with YouTube's algorithm. We'll just have to wait and see if it makes it or not. But the realities are this, my friends. This is not a good look if you owned a house in El Paso. And guess what? The border, the border runs long. We're going to talk about El Paso, Texas today, but it runs a lot through a lot of areas of the U.S. This is a black swan left field event that's happening right now. So let's go ahead and read this email, then we'll meet back here to wrap it up. Let's get started. Scott, I was in Mexico the week before last. There are 50,000 or so immigrants in Juarez waiting to come to El Paso next Thursday when the COVID restrictions lapse. I sold with your guidance January last year. 
The no- November numbers came in from the El Paso Board of Realtors. Sales, houses sold down 23.8%. Inventory up 18.3%. After this coming week, I suggest no one will relocate to El Paso short term. Again, thanks. Well, thank you. Let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. All right, friends, welcome back and thank you to the subscriber. Like I said, if you're new, please subscribe. Subscribe right away. Feel free to send in any information. You never know when your email or information might be covered here on the channel. Unlike other channels, this one will always put the subscribers first as we protect American lives one financial life at a time. And like I always said, this is the real estate channel, but much bigger than real estate. We're going to heat map and temperature the U.S. housing market because it has the capability it's done it before of collapsing the U.S. economy. So my my, it's got my full attention. Listen, friends, it just comes down to a big, fat, unorganic, artificially built housing bubble. It got way out of hand. The can was kicked way too far down the road. Had they put, had they risen interest rates immediately when they saw the bubble forming, maybe they could have slowed this thing to a pace that would have allowed us to enjoy just normal appreciation. When you see 40% appreciation rates in your real estate, there is nothing normal about that because of the wealth effect that was created people wanted to normalize it even agents like me well not like me but agents in the same industry as me normalize this telling you this time is different no crash risk here what are they saying now is there still people out there trying to well there is because i i have the social media links in the description below where you see i have other social media platforms because i have a digital footprint because i'm a realtor i'm a realtor agent at times i'm embarrassed to be one when i was deemed an essential worker in a health crisis and i could go sell homes remotely with hand sanitizers and things like that one-on-one showings overpaying waiving contingencies waiving inspections buying a house without knowing the health of the house because you waive contingencies inspections you didn't know roof foundation electrical plumbing sewer you didn't know and a lot of people not only did that their house is reversing course and if you were one of the people that maybe bought one of these houses in el paso Texas, you just had insult added to injury. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator. Somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life. The housing market can't tolerate too many left left field black swan events. El Paso, Texas, and a lot of other areas in the country that run along the U.S.-Mexican border are not in good shape right now, especially if they're areas where crossings are occurring. This is not a good look. And while a sensitive subject, a political subject, I'm not trying to be on one side or the other. That's not my job. My job is to protect people and their real estate and let them know that this is not a good look for the real estate industry. And even if you're not on one of these border crossing areas, because this is a very different bubble where contagion will be a much bigger component. We can't suffer too many of these field black swan events attacking our U.S. housing market. And that's what this is. This is, in fact, a war on the U.S. housing market. It is attacking it as we speak. We have to be very awake, very aware touch with what's going on and the threats that we're now facing. You see, the thing is, the first step of getting past the problem is always admit there's a problem and then accept the situation and make smart decisions healthy decisions moving forward it's very important for us to understand this is not good for our real estate a lot of people are going to be in big trouble with this one i'm going to do my best to try to protect people every step of the way because it's not only what we need it's in fact what we deserve if you appreciate the content i want to humbly ask you to give the video a like subscribe to the channel leave a comment below i would love to hear from you social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there along with links to channels i've appeared on i think you might enjoy if you need help buying or selling real estate here in america i have the biggest network of top rated agents in the nation ready to assist you'd be our honor and our privilege to do so email in the description for you as well i'll personally be part of your transaction also if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video i know you're going to love the next video And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make it count today. I'll see you on the next video.